My passion are the kids. I mean, that's what I'm here for. And that's, that's what I've always done. 27 years of teaching, um, I, I get up because the kids got all this energy in. You know, they give me some of it. I'm really lucky. You could put a, a G when he hit that symbol. You know, that would sound really cool. Well, I want them to, I want them to have a broader experience uh, with their percussion because I was a percussionist. I grew up in, uh, uh, you know, concert bands and the whole thing, and I love all that and, and jazz band. But sometimes um, a percussionist will um, sit in the back of the room and count an awful lot of measures and be sitting around and getting kind of bored. And that's part of the deal. I mean, you know, you play an opera, you count a thousand measures, and then you go ding on a triangle. But uh, kids want to play. And so when they come here, there's nobody standing around. Everybody's doing something. And this is a really great vehicle to introduce them to um, music, mainly from the West Indies. Caribbean music, Latin music, which is way too generic. You know, we break it down a lot farther than just saying Latin. We talk about music from Brazil, and we talk about music from Jamaica, as opposed to Trinidad. And, and so they know the, they know the difference. So. I've been playing since, you know, fifth grade, playing drums since fifth grade, when you start in the public school. But, uh, and then playing rock and playing jazz through, through, uh, through the years. But it wasn't until just, oh man, within the last 10 years, you know, this kind of thing hit me. And, and I was also in the steel drum thing listening to Andy Norell, and he's just a great pan player. And I was like, well, this stuff's infectious. I really love this. I want to get this going. These are called the lead pans, leads and double tenor. And then it was five years ago that I talked to my music supervisor, and uh, the music supervisor at that time was Richard Scott here in Lincoln, and he he was interested in steel drums too, and I didn't know it, but when we got this conversation going, he said, you know, we could really get something going in Lincoln. I said, well, help me, <laughs> you know, you're the man. I own most of this other gear, and I just said, you know, the kids should play real instruments, and nobody's going to buy them for me. So I just gave them to him. I mean, you know, you get to a point where I've gotten a lot of good out of everything, so why don't I share this with somebody else? They leave here with confidence and, and pride and, you know, hopefully a higher self-esteem, all that. There's way too many people to thank. Of course, my parents I start with. That's, that's where I thank because they brought me here. Um, but for getting this project going, I, I thank Richard Scott, the former uh, music supervisor. He was so supportive of getting this going, and you know, I was sad to see him retire here a couple years ago. Um, Casey, uh, Casey Jones, uh, Casey Smarker, my my brother-in-law, my sister's husband. I mean, I really thank him because he really, he really motivated me. I don't even think he really knows how much he motivated me. Of course, thank my wife Toby and kids for. Um, all the support they've given me because I've been away a lot doing this or shut myself in a room and try to figure out how this music's going to come together and how I'm going to coordinate getting all these kids together to play and um, so yeah I have a lot to thank. I, I thank everybody. Nice. I, we should have recorded that. Oh we did.